hello beautiful people welcome back again to my youtube channel please guys just ignore my voice it's a beautiful morning i just woke up to a lot of messages a lot of tags and i saw some comments on social media and i truly want to address it so um oh gosh i forgot to introduce myself just in case you are new to my channel my name is esther and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please hit the red subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you can always get notified whenever i upload new updates so guys um i saw this tag someone tagged me to um a post on today and not and also on facebook some people tagged me i think they tagged me for fun but i saw that really disturbing i truly didn't like the post so i want to address it people said that it's easy for them to dethrone the oba of benin just the way they did to the ruler of kano the emir or something what his name is and the truth is that the oba of benin can never ever be dethroned ask me why he was born to do this he was not elected to do this he was not appointed to do this he is his best right People has been there before the recent one we have now. Others have been on the throne. It's heritage. No one can take his place from him. It's not possible, guys. Some of you that are arguing on the comment section that if he did something wrong that the government can kick him out is impossible. It's an abomination for you to dethrone the Oba of Benin. It's not like that of the canon you cannot compare the both of them is different pandediam and pardo no be the same so you can't say oh the canon um king can be dethroned the oba of benin can be dethroned at any time it's not possible this is what he's born for he's from his lineage and others has been there before him so so many people has been there he, this one now, he inherited it from his father, and his father inherited it from his grandfather, grandfather from his great-grandfather, great-grandfather from forefathers. So that is how it works. It's not like, oh, government politics, something, they just appointed someone and say, yeah, he will choose you, so you're going to be on the throne. It's not like that. That of Kano, it was true politics. So anytime, any day, they have the right to kick him out. They have the right to dethrone him. They have the right to send him out. But the Oba of Bini was ordained right from birth. He wasn't appointed. So there is difference between when someone is appointed to do something and when someone is ordained and born to do it. The throne is the birthright of the Oba of Benin and not a political place to play and appoint people. So get it straight, guys. Don't get it wrong. And also, I want to address something. So let me read it for you guys. This is the Bini Traditional Council. And this letter is from the Oba of Bini in Bini City. So the palace press release. This is to inform the general public that there is going to be restriction of human and vehicle movement around Oba Palace from 11 p.m. on Sunday, 15th March, 2020 to 4 a.m. on Monday, 16th March 2020, i.e. Airport Road, Adesogbe, Plymouth Road, so some part of Benin City. The general public is advised in their own interest to keep away from these assets as a result of the traditional ceremony that is going to take place at that time. So guys, the reason why I'm reading this to you is because some um, bloggers posted this and people from other tribe are saying oh why will oba say nobody we we walk around that time why did oba say and um, no vehicle will move what happened to christians that are going to church are christians going to abide to this rule or whatever let me tell you guys when someone tell you this is what is going on this is a tradition you need to respect it regardless of being benign person being um ego being wherever tribe you are from you need to respect um tradition in benin city not only edo people like benin people are living in benin there are other tribes too so 
If something is going on and they inform you for you to stay in your house, do not move by that time. And this is just uh, late in the night. It's 11 p.m. They said you shouldn't go out till 4 a.m. in the morning. And at that time, you are even supposed to be in your house, be at your bed. So what are you even doing outside? It's not like they are doing the ceremony daytime that they tell you, oh, no movement. People are still insisting they are going out that Oba cannot restrict their movements. Excuse me, hello. So in Italy now, they said everybody be in your house. You see, be saying you want to come out. Come out to do what? Yesterday, I saw a video where some policemen were making record of some Nigerian boys. And they told them to stay in their house. Three of them, they were with bicycle. I don't know where they were going. And they told them, stay in your house, go home. They are still refusing to go home. When they know what is going on around this uh, Italy, they are doing all that for their safety, but they do not want to stay in their house. So this exact thing is happening in Benin now. They said, stay in your house. And people are saying that they will go out because they are not from Benin. So anything will go happen to you now. God, I have MB to watch what will happen to you guys. Stay in your house tomorrow on the 15th of March. Stay in your house. There is some traditional ceremony that will be going on at that time. 11 p.m. to 4 a.m. in the morning. So they have some traditional thing ceremony they are going to be holding. So stay in your house. What is the big deal? What is too difficult for you to understand? They are saying you are a Christian. You don't believe in all those traditions. You are a Christian. You don't do this. You don't do that. Are you going to night VG? Stay in your house. Sometimes we Christian, we should be using our brain. Not all the time we want to show ourselves we are a Christian. We don't believe in this one. We don't believe in that one whatsoever. Respect people tradition. You are in their land. You need to respect them regardless of being a Benin person or being an Igbo person. Respect their tradition. Respect their rules. Not like it's daytime. Maybe during work hour, you are going to work. You say, oh, no, I cannot sit at home. I want to go to work. Even if it's daytime, they and you want to go to work. And they tell you, and um, this time we are doing some certain things. Maybe you cannot witness what they want to do. That is why they say, stay in your house. This is a traditional ceremony. You need to respect the rules. Just for one day is not a bad thing. It's not a big deal. So why are people so adamant? I don't understand it. I was seeing a lot of comments. People are saying, for what? Why will you ask us to stay at home? We will not stay at home. We will go out. I have MB. I have data. I will watch what will happen to those of you that are very, very adamant. Those of you that are dumb. I will watch what will happen to you guys. Since you do not have sense, you cannot respect tradition. You cannot respect simple law. Not only in Nigeria, these things are going on. Even outside Nigeria, we used to bring this uh, Adamat character even in Europe. Look at this. said, stay in your house in Europe, in Italy, because of what is going on. But people want to go and witness what I don't know outside. What are they looking for outside? Nothing is outside. Everywhere is closed. Stay in your house. You can only come out with the folio, like the paper they will give you from your workplace that you are working with them. Okay, when police see that, they say, yeah, you are working, you can go home. But if you are not working, you are not going anywhere that is important, apart from supermarket or pharmacy, they will arrest you or they will give you fine. So this is what is going on in Italy now. So I don't know why our Nigerian people, they are just so stubborn. I don't know why they are so stubborn. When you tell them, don't go out, that's the time they will know they want to go out. So this time, Oba of Benin sent this message for tomorrow, 15th of March. I am including this in my video for your own interest. You guys should stay in your house. Respect this just for one day is not a bad thing. Respect it for one day is not a big deal. Stay in your house so they don't use any of you as a scapegoat. So, and that's for the um, people having the mindset that they can dethrone the Oba of Benin that nothing the government cannot do. The government can never dethrone the Oba of Benin because they did not appoint him. That throne is his birthright and he was born to do that. Alright? So this is where I will be stopping. Thank you so much for watching. You can as well leave your comments in the comment section. If you are from Benin, you know much about this tradition. You can also leave your comments in the comment section. All of us will learn, will read it, and yeah, we'll reason together. So thanks for watching again. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.